Question 15. Uh, now, so Giselle collected data about the age and the salary of each employee at a small company. So age and salary, bivariate data. Okay, two data. It looks like, you know, she might do a scatter diagram, which is what it says, okay? She used statistical software to draw a scatter diagram for her data. Give one advantage of using statistical software when representing data, okay? So, you know, there are many advantages, okay? You know, if you're using a computer to do it, okay, it reduces, you know, the errors that you can make by drawing it yourself, okay? Um, it, it will also be a lot quicker, okay? So the computer will probably will say to you, you know, give us what this data is, and then it, you just press some buttons and it just comes up quite quickly, okay? So it saves you time as well. So anything like that would be fine. Then we got Giselle calculated correlation coefficients for her data. She obtained the following results. Spearman's rank correlation coefficient was 0 0.95. You can see it's very close to 1. Pearson's product moment correlation coefficient is 0 0.77. So again, it's positive, okay? And, you know, it, it's quite strong, 0 0.77. It says here, describe and interpret the type of correlation represented by 0 0.95 in the table. So type of correlation. That would be, I have to say, positive correlation or negative correlation and it says interpret so I need to interpret it into the context of the um, statistics that she's doing so here we've got um, uh, 0 0.95 okay you can say whether or not you think that's positive or negative so that's one thing that you need to say and you have to say something about this context so this context is about looking at age and the salary okay so uh, when the age goes up, does the salary also go up, or is it the case that when the age goes up, the salary goes down? You have to say something like that. That will be your interpretation. Next one, which of the two correlation coefficients in the table represents the stronger correlation? You must give a reason for your answer. Okay, so both of them are positive, okay, so, and this one is closer to one, okay, so what would do us, what would tell us a stronger correlation is, um, uh, how far away is it from zero, okay? So let's say, for example, this was 0 0.95, uh, negative 0 0.95. Okay, so negative 0 0.95 and 0 0.95 is similar, okay? So, but negative 0 0.95 is obviously close to negative one, and 0 0.95 is close to one. So we should state that, okay, they're both positive, so the stronger one would be the one that's closer to one. If they were both negative, the stronger one would be the one that's closer to negative one. If one of them's positive and the other one's negative, the stronger one would be the one that's furthest away from the zero, okay? So that's how you would answer that question. So this is the next part of the question. I, I just brought this because we're going to need this for this question. So it says figure one and figure two show two possible scatter diagrams for Giselle's data. And we've got you know, one here and one here. And we can see that this one is uh, positive and very linear. This is positive as well, but not so linear, okay? And we've got the age and salary, age and salary. Uh, question is, which one of these two diagrams most likely represents the data? You must give a reason for your answer. So um, we need to know using these values, okay? So we need to compare it to these values. So these values are ones that she's got. Uh, Spearman's rank is saying 0 0.95. Now, from that, it could be either one. Okay, so b both of them I can see are positive. Okay, as I move right, it's also kind of going up, okay? Um, this one, notice that it's sig it is actually significantly less than the Spearman's rank, okay? And this one measures the strength of linear correlation, okay? And if that is less, so it needs to be less linear, okay? So this looks very linear to me, okay? So... If, if, if I'm looking at a, a PMCC value for this one, I'm thinking it will be quite close to the Spearman's rank, okay? It might even be very similar to 0 0.95. It might actually be 0 0.95. This one, it is positive, okay? And it's less linear than um, this one. So I'm, I'm thinking, and, and because this value is much less than the 0 0.95, I'm thinking maybe this one, okay? So what you need to do is... Uh, which of the you have to say which diagram most likely represents the data, and you must also give a reason for your answer. Okay, so you have to give a reason using the information that I said. Okay, comparing to these values. Okay, so why do these values say maybe this one or that one, whichever one, and um, you know how do you know from these values? You know, is it more or less? Is it you know what exactly is it about the values that tells you it's one of them and not the other one? Okay. 
Now, next question says, Brett wants to use a Pearson's Product Moment Correlation Coefficient, PMCC, to compare the salaries of male employees with the salaries of female employees. And immediately, I think that's, that's a bit strange, okay? Explain whether or not it is appropriate. So, okay, we need to say it is appropriate or it is not appropriate to use the PMCC to make this comparison. Now, notice that I said this was a bit strange. Um, the reason why I say that is because when I think about male employees and their salaries and female employees and their salaries, uh, PMCC is normally worked out for two variables, okay? So there'll be like a variable there and another variable there. If I go male, male salaries this way, female salaries this way, these crosses are, you know, I can't really find crosses that would be meaningful because the, the crosses are two variables for the same person, for example. So, you know, I can't have a, a, a man got you know, a certain salary, and a female got that same, same salary. That doesn't mean anything, okay? Each of the crosses should be one person. And for one person, we need two variables, okay? So here, I can see that there's male employees and female employees. I don't have two variables to work out PMCC from, okay? And, and, it, and it makes absolutely no sense to do it with male employees' uh, salary and female employees' salary because, you know, that just doesn't make sense. I can't make crosses for that. Okay, so think about whether or not it is appropriate, state what it is, and then explain why, um, why it won't work.